Imagine being the first kid to land on Mars. Lily and Max sat in their rocket, counting down. Three, two, one. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lenny. Have you ever wanted to bring kids' stories to life with animation, but thought it was too expensive or computated? Well, not anymore. In this video, I'll show you how to create stunning AI animated kid stories completely for free. No animation stills required. We'll be using powerful AI tools to generate scripts, voiceovers, animations, and even background music. All in just a few simple prompts. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create your own AI animated kid stories. Perfect for YouTube, bedtime, storytelling, or editational content. So stick around at the end of this tutorial and let's get started. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that for every kind of animated story, you always need to come up with a concept. So you first need a concept and once you have the concept, you'll be able to generate the script and then once you generate a script you'd also want to generate the voiceover as well as some animation too so those are the three things you need to get started in order to generate the script you're going to be using chat gpt and since this is an animated kid story um i'm going to pick a concept about kids landing on mars and for the exact prompt i'm going to be using this particular prompt so and then i'll put a prompt in uh chat gpt the prompts box in chat gpt and i'm gonna say generate a 15 second kid story about humans going to mars and then i'm gonna click on enter this is the output for the prompt it gives you the title of the story and it also gives you like the story itself now the next step is to generate the voiceover script and to do that i'm gonna be using this exact prompt and then i'm gonna click on enter this is the output of my voice scuba script now the third thing i would want to generate in chat gpt is the animation cues and for that i'm going to be using this exact prompt and then i'm gonna click on enter so this is the output of my animation cues as you can see, just about five scenes in total, and dozens that I'm meeting to that would help me with creating my video. To create my video, I'm gonna be using a tool called Video Ocean. So when you go into Video Ocean, you really need to create an account so that you don't lose your web. And um, when you come into Video Ocean, what you really want to do with Video Ocean is you're going to be working with the animation cues that you generated initially. So you're going to pick a combination of the visuals from the animation cue as well as the effects. So you're gonna combine them together. So as you can see, the first prompt would look something like this. You'd have the first line talking about the visual and then the second line talking about the effect. So you'd have about two sentences in general and then you're gonna copy these sentences and you're gonna put it in the prompt box here. Remember to always select 16 by 9 if you want to put a EQ long video. If you want it to be a short video, then you can always do 9 by 16. And in terms of the resolution, you can go with 720 or you can go with 480. It really depends on you and I'm going to choose 5 certain. If you already have characters that you've generated for your animator story, then you may want to upload those images here. But if you don't have any characters in mind, just like me, um, you can just enter the prompt and then you can just say you want it to be cartoon characters. So I'm just going to say it's review cartoons and then you click on enter. When you sign up with Video Ocean, you get a general free rush. You get about 12, uh, 12 credits and you're able to generate and above videos from those credits. So I think it's actually a good do and then you click on enter so this is the output of our test scene i'm gonna do the same for our next scene so in order to get the next scene and then you go into your prompt and then you go into your animation cues in chat gpt and then you copy their visual which will be the first line and then you copy the effects which will be the second line you put them together and make sure you have two sentences in total and then you can copy them and then you come back into video ocean you come into that prompt box and then you put in your prompt this time around since we already have our characters generated and we want to keep a consistent character we are going to download the fans video we generated onto our computer and then we are going to go into their video extractor too so you just really have to go to frame-extractor.com and then at this point all you have to do is you're gonna select the video 
you'll be able to select the video you want to work with. So I have the video. When you come into that frame, extractor two, and then you just drag the video. Okay. The reason why we are trying, we are we are doing this is because we want to build up on our story. So in the frame extracts, really what we're gonna do is we're just gonna um click on extract. And what this will do is just gonna extract this image for us, and this image is gonna be our starting point because we want to build up on these characters in our story. So I'm gonna click on download. And now that I've downloaded um the image I want to use um as the starting point in the next video. What I'm really gonna do is I'm gonna flick on the plus button here and then I'm gonna drag the image in here and then I'm gonna click on confirm and then the next step for me is to I'm gonna click on confirm and as you can see that my image is here so I'm just gonna click on the upload button and this is the output of my second video so I'm gonna do the same thing for all the other scenes ideally we have about five scenes in this particular um story so i'm gonna do so for all the five scenes in this story do make sure that once you're done with generating the scenes for the story you just download it onto your computer so now that we have all our videos ready the next step is to generate the audio to generate the audio you're gonna be using 11 laughs i've done a number of tutorials on 11 laughs so if you don't have an account i encourage you to create an account because they do have a free version as well i have a link to 11 labs as well in the description box so do check it out and then um when you're going to 11 apps what you really have to do is you have to sign up in 11 labs okay so when you sign up into 11 labs cv met with the screen so you really want to go to the text to speech if you are able to upload your own voice then you can do so if you want to have your own voice your own accent and everything then you can really upload your own voice um i believe you are not able to do so in the free version so for the free version i'm just gonna use the text to speech in the text to speech whatever you want to do is i want to go into chat gpt and i'm going to copy the voice over scripts that we generated earlier in here so i'm going to copy the voice over scripts into chat gpt and i'm just going to make some edits so i'm really all i want is the script itself right the meritus part so i'm going to take out all the parts that is in the meritus parts i'm going to take all those out And then I'm gonna select the voice. So you can really decide on the voice you want, and you can make some edits in terms of like how you want the voice to sound like. Um, but then I'm gonna stick to uh, Brian as my voice, and then I'm gonna click on generate speech. Okay, now that our audio has been generated, the next step in the process is to bring your video and also your audio into CapCut. So in CapCut, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw all the videos I. I generated in my previous steps into CapCut as well as the audio. Notice that the audio is quite long, so you would want to adjust the audio to fit the video, okay? And I've explained all you have to do is you have to add transitions. So I'm gonna come into the transitions tab here. And on and usually for transitions, I really like to use the fade out transition. It really depends on you the type of transition you wanna use. And I'm gonna put the transitions in the break so that we don't have like a sharp break, okay? So I'm going to do so for all the areas where we have a break at. And then once we have transitions, the next step for me is our captions. So I'm going to click on the captions tab and I'm going to click on generate. As you can see, our text has been generated, uh, but I would want a more fancy text. So I'm going to go into 10 pigs and then I'm going to select a fancy text, a text I like, as opposed to the plain white text. So I think I like this text, so I'm gonna use this one. And then the last step in our process is to include some music, okay, to make our story even more interesting. So for music, I want to go with something that has to do with space. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna get any a uh, spaceship music. Let's see. I made her like this, so I'm gonna grab this down here. Always make sure that when you include the music that the volume is a little bit low okay and uh yeah again adjust the music just make sure that the music is aligned with your audio and your video and let me play the output so that you see how the output looks like imagine being the first kid to land on mars lily and max sat in their rocket counting down three two one blast off they zoomed past twinkling stars and finally landed on the red planet. Wow, look at those mountains. Max gasped. 
They bounced in their spacesuits, planting the first kid flag on the dusty ground. But then something moved. A time. Yes, so that is it for today's tutorial. Um, if you haven't watched my previous tutorials, I have a tutorial on uh, creating AI animated Bible stories. I have a tutorial on creating AI agents to automate your entire content's uh, creation flow. I even have a tutorial on the latest OpenAI Image Animator 2. I did a tutorial on how to create animated history stories as well. So I'll leave all of those tutorials on the screen so you can go check them out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button. Share this with your friends. And yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.